What's up, YouTube? This is Box Away. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's talk about the fights on the zone last night. Pretty good fights, uh, especially this one. This was a good fight. Jojo Diaz against Tevin Farmer. All right, uh, this was our for Tevin Farmer's IBF strap at one thirty. Okay, uh, Jojo was not too long ago. He was fighting at one twenty six. All right, but he's picked up a few wins at one thirty, and now we get this fight. Now, going into the fight, I didn't do a breakdown, but going into the fight, I knew that this was going to be a, a pretty tough fight for Tevin Farmer. Uh, I didn't think he was going to fight this kind of fight with Jojo Diaz, though. You know, uh, Diaz brought the pressure, and it ended up being like a phone booth fight. You know, I wouldn't expect Farmer to fight this way for that amount of rounds, you know, the entire fight. Uh, Diaz suffered a cut over his eye, and I mean, this is a bad cut. He suffered a cut over his left eye really, really early in the fight. I mean, it was just split wide open. It looked like a third eye. It was a nasty cut. And for him to win, and congratulations to him too, for him to win after receiving a cut like that so early, you know, and fight through the fight, fought hard, didn't let up at all. Brought a lot of pressure, threw a lot of punches. Um, congratulations! He showed a, he showed a lot of heart in this fight, and so did Tevin Farmer. You know, I know, like I said in a recent video, Philly has been having it rough this year so far. You know, with Jesse Hart loss, uh, you had uh, well, you had J Rock the upset with J Rock, and now you had this loss. I mean, it is what it is, man. It happens, man. It happens, and this is not the first time a string of Philly fighters lost you know within a year you know but it's just really been like within a month now um they they've had it rough lately but you know tevin farmer fought a good fight he fought a good fight he fought hard it's just that strategically it wasn't the right type of fight to fight you know if you give jojo a round or two or even three where you're fighting like that. At some point, you got to adjust, bro. You got to adjust. Because you're a really good defender. And we didn't see him in this fight because you kind of brawled it out with a guy that was outgunning you, outworking you. And it just... I'm not saying he can't beat Jojo Diaz. You know, if they ever were to fight again in the future. But you're not going to beat him fighting that way. You know? But it is what it is, man. It still was a really good fight. It was a very competitive fight. But the right man won, you know, and ended up being a better fight than what I expected it to be because I've seen certain Timmy Farmer fights where I was like, oh, this is kind of boring. You know, he's not letting his hands go. But we got that in this fight. Even though he lost, we got it in this fight. It was a good fight. Um, I just think strategically he didn't he – didn't, I was waiting for something to change as I'm watching it. You know, I mean, I knew the outcome before watching it, but as I'm watching it, I'm still like wondering, like, okay, Tim, what are you gonna do to switch it up? Because you're you're not fighting your type of fight. This is not the way you fight. You know, you could fight this way, but you know, I'm nor normally used to seeing you as a defensive slick fighter, but we didn't get that. So, um, he'll bounce back. First loss in like eight years, man. This guy. Um, definitely one of the most improved boxers out here today in the whole sport. Tevin Farmer went many, many years without a loss, okay? And uh, didn't fight the greatest, greatest opposition, but, you know, even when he lost early in his career, he wasn't fighting the absolute best neither. I mean, it was early in his car career. Sorry, just sucked in my eye, shit. Anyway, uh, good fight. Good fight, uh, you know, Tevin just bounced back. JoJo, I don't know if they're going to have a rematch or anything like that. Uh, I don't really want to see an immediate rematch. I thought JoJo clearly won the fight. I don't think we need to see an immediate rematch, but we might see it. You know, it's cool. Uh, but, you know, I, everybody else that is holding titles, I believe, is kind of tied up. I don't know what Leo Santa Cruz is doing. I believe he holds the title at 130 now. Uh, but outside of him... You got the guys that's fighting over on top rank on the ESPN side who are set to fight each other next. You know, I know, uh, uh, who, who do we have? Who do we have? You got Miguel Burchell 
that is probably going to fight Oscar Valdez. All right, and then you have uh, Carl Frampton. He's probably going to fight uh, the other champion. Jesus Christ, I can't think of his name right now. I'm bugging, bugging out. But anyway, these guys are all. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm like mad. I don't remember his name. These guys are all gonna be fighting each other. So you know, these guys are pretty much set. So I don't know if we're gonna get any kind of unifica unification right away. But you know what? With JoJo Diaz, and even if his law and his loss to Gary Russell, because I know there's been a lot of talk between Farmer and Russell and Tank and all of these guys. Uh. Jamel Herring. That's who I was thinking of before. Jamel Herring. Yeah, I was not going to end this video without remembering his name. He's supposed to be fighting Carl Frampton. All right, so these guys are tied up already. But Jojo Diaz gave Russell a hell of a fight. You know, I mean, outside of his loss to Lomachenko, I think that was Russell's toughest fight. You know, Russell won the fight, but it was barely, it was a very competitive fight. So I knew Jojo was going to be a tough fight. For Tevin Farmer. I just didn't expect Tarver, uh, Farmer to fight that way. For that amount of rounds. You know. But pretty good fight anyway. Alright. So. Um, that fight was last night on the, on the zone. Check it out. And um, in the next video. I'll speak on Android. Against Keeler. Alright. Peace.